Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize blend modes inside of Cray Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So for our first example, I've got some text and it's kind of over a background, right? Now I want to overlay this text so it bleeds into the background, which is a really cool effect. So what I can do is I could select the text in my timeline. I can go to my settings right here, scroll down until I see blend mode, then I get a whole bunch of options. Now for this scenario, I want to go ahead and choose overlay. Now once I select overlay, you can see that it bled it right into my mountain background, right? Which is really awesome. All right, so this is a really cool way to kind of enhance your projects and give it a cooler look, right? Now you can even take this text a little further and if you want to kind of beef it up and make it pop even more, we could go ahead and duplicate this overlay layer and then adjust that layer and kind of increase the, the intensity of the effect that way. Or if you want to do something really quick, you can select your overlay text here and then come over here to, uh, to shadow. And then on your blur, you can take your blur down all the way and then you can then adjust it by increasing the blur intensity there, right? So we can kind of darken it up. We can kind of make it pop a little more. It kind of gives you a lot of options to adjust your text um, and your overlay inside of Create Studio Pro, which is really cool. All right, so let's move on to the next example. And I've got some text that says snow. It's still on my same mountain background, but I want to add some snow effects, like some snow coming down. Maybe I could add rain if I wanted to, but let's stick with snow, right? Since we're in this mountainy theme. So I'm gonna go over here to my file, to my media, to my files, and I'm gonna drag in my snow particles. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand it out to the size of my canvas there. And then let's go ahead and align this properly so it's on the right uh, layer here. So I'm gonna shrink this down to the length of my snow text there, right? And let's go ahead and scroll in here and then zoom in so you can see, all right? And then again, what I'll do is I can rename this just so we can stay organized. We'll call this snow. Actually, let's, yeah, that's fine, snow. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select my snow effects here. So if I just play this, you'll see that it's just got the snow particles there, which is really cool. All right, now I'm gonna click snow and then I'm gonna come over here, my settings and go to uh, blend mode again, and I'm gonna click on screen, right? So once I click on screen, you can see now that if I play this back, I've got this really cool snow particle effect going across my image with my text in there, which is then overlaid on top of that, right? So you got multiple things going on, but some really cool features that can enhance your projects inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so that is how you can add some snow particles um, next up, we're going to talk about transitions, right? So on top of blend modes, being able to utilize things for text as well as for particles like we just did, it can also kind of help reveal transitions, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transition and show you how we can make that work. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my studio section here. And under transitions, I'm just going to find, uh, let's go with this ice transition here. So I'm going to drag that onto my canvas here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just resize this so it fits the length of my clip here that I'm working with. So I'll just drag that down right there and then go here. And this does have audio. So I'm just going to make this zero because we don't want to hear that. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to select my transition here, right? And I'm going to select it, come over here to settings and then scroll down to my blend mode. And then I'm going to choose screen or I can choose lighter, whichever looks better, but I'm going to go with screen. And then now when I play this back, you'll see it's built into the uh, image itself, but it reveals the text underneath it, right? So another cool way to utilize transitions with the overlays going on. Um, you could even add another snow layer if you wanted to, um, which is really cool, right? All right, so let's get into the next blend mode and that's gonna be color, all right? So right now I've got this video background uh, with this cool animated a uh, little worm going on in the background with the text colorizer at the top, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a shape and let's go with the rounded rectangle here. And what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and just expand that out to the size of our canvas. And then what we can do is let's, uh, let's just rename this guy and we'll call this uh, shape color, all right? And then we'll just drag it down into the middle between our text and our video. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a color. So let's just choose, uh, we could choose, this is kind of cool right here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my shape color, right? And then I'm gonna come over here and go to my uh, blend mode and I'm gonna choose color, all right? 
Now what that does is it adjusts the text and the video uh, background itself to match the color of my choosing, right? So it allows you to stylize your footage a little bit cooler, um, give it more of a, a color look if that's what you're going for. Something stylistically that's gonna help drive whatever it is you're trying to deliver. All right, so now if I was to select my shape color, and if I play this back as is, you'll see that it changes it. So there, now if I click on color here, and maybe I go to some reds, then it will play just like that. All right, so just another tool for you to have to help stylize your footage, give it more of a pop, and really bring out the projects that you're trying to create. All right, so let's move on to the next example of how to use some blend modes, right? All right, so I've got this hipster guy. He's just chilling, listening to music in the park, and I wanna add some texture to this scene, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my files, and I'm gonna drag in this crumbled piece of paper. All right, so I like the texture that it has, and you can utilize it with animations, you can utilize it with video clips, um, whatever kind of texture file you may have, this is a good way to kind of give it a soft little touch and make it pop even more. All right, so let's go ahead and drag this paper down here and let's expand this to the length of our clip. We'll rename it to stay organized and I'll just call this paper. All right, so next step is once I have the clip in there of my uh, crumbled paper, I can select it. I'm gonna go over to my settings and scroll down to blend mode. And then what I'm gonna do is I either can do um, multiply or I can go darken, right? And you kind of see darken, uh, it gives it a little bit of texture there, but I really want multiply. I think that's the best one. And you can see that there is that definition of the crumble paper behind it. Really gives it this really cool textured look um, that can really help enhance your projects and bring them out to life. All right. So now if I play this back, you can see it's pretty cool. It's got a little bit more texture in there. So it's a nice, nice touch. All right. So let's move on to the next example of using blend modes. All right. So I've got a beach setting here and I want to add a moon in here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to my media, and this moon is actually a video moon, all right? So it could be a picture or it could be a video clip, however you wanna utilize it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, size this up here. You know what, I'm just gonna use the cut tool here, so I'm just gonna pull my cursor here. I'm gonna hit cut, and then delete the rest of that. All right, so I'll size it up to my image, and then I will just rename this guy, and we'll call it moon, so everything looks nice and pretty. Now what I can do is select my moon, I can go to my blend modes under settings, and we're gonna go to screen. All right, you can go lighter if you want, depending on the kind of the, the, the texture of the moon that you're looking for, right? Let's start with screen. Now, if I select that, I can then move the moon up into the top right corner here, right? Um, of course, you can adjust the size if you need to, um, or the placement, but that is how you can kind of add a moon. You can do a lot of different cool things inside of video clips, inside of animations, utilizing the different blend modes and their uses, all right? So hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here on blend modes and how to utilize them for your projects. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial.